host of the very popular cooking series. Yes. She's still cooking right here. Yeah. Patty's Mexican <laughs> table. Welcome back to our home. Very thank favorite you. person, Patty. Yeah. 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I have bacon for you. I know. I just picked today a bacon. <laughs> oh, well, you better have some bacon for Jane as well because yes. now you're going to have to <laughs> yes. reciprocate. She yeah. made you her cheesecake. You're making this delicious lentil bacon soup that is just so much more than a lentil bacon soup. It, it's like it love in a bowl. Is, it, is, it is just so nurturing and satisfying and it has a bunch of contrasting flavors. You and this know, is one of your family's favorite. It is. My dad is obsessed with this soup and we grew up eating this soup like almost every week. Oh. It has bacon and lentils and then he loves to combine contrasting flavors, savory and sweet, so it's topped with fried plantains. Did your dad make this up? No. <laughs> <laughs> my mom. My your mom, mom did, but your dad liked to eat it. All right, so let's get started. What do we okay. do? You guys dig so in. what we have here, we have a lot of bacon that mm. already, you can smell so it already. Good. Oh, it's so good. Chopped so, off. oh. We want to hear what you think about bacon and plantain together. Oh, I've gone to the plantains. I'm going for the plantain. Okay, so we'll, we'll build it up just like you did. I'm learning. Exactly. Yes, right. Okay, so we have the bacon, okay. and then you have to wait until the bacon renders its fat. And then you add celery, carrot, garlic. Yummy. And then we add a little bit of tomato. Okay. And then, oh, I love, I love, that I love the sound. It's my favorite. It's, I love the sound. And then you add a little bit of cilantro. So good for your really. cilantro. The health benefits of cilantro are really Really yes, great. good, this right? The best Patty, lentil soup I've so ever good. had. The bacon is amazing. Well, I mean, yeah. when you put bacon in lentil soup, I stop right there. I thought <laughs> the no plantains, though, are perfect. Yeah, I know. So okay, we'll get there. Okay, we'll get there. Okay, we'll get there. And then we add lentils. Okay, green lentils, brown lentils. Any, any kind of lentil. Any Mexicans, we're so easy. We're <laughs> so accessible. Any lentil you find. But you know, not many people know that Mexican and Latin cuisines use so much lentils. People yeah. usually think, oh, it's just beans. Sure. Yeah. No, we love lentils and fava beans and you know all kinds of beans. So then you cook it a little. Okay. And then help me pour a little bit of the water. The water. And, and that is that chicken broth? Chicken broth, but if you want to make it vegetarian, right. skip the bacon and add vegan veggie broth. You know, veggie broth. I mean, sure. Really? Yeah. 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 Bacon is you fine, don't need just to no do dairy. Right. Yeah. Dairy. Yeah. There you right. Go. You can eat the bacon. And then this is as easy as easy gets because you so just, just let, let it go. cook. Mm. Wow. And then we have one here that already cooked. But you have a tip that I think is really great, and you'll appreciate this if you're not eating any dairy. You have a tip that actually makes the lentil soup seem creamy as if it's a cream of lentil, but it has no cream. Yes. Right. What do you Ooh, what's do? What's that? Yeah, so, right. yeah, no, this is fabulous. So what you do <laughs> is you grab a little bit of the soup, say a cup of the soup, and you completely puree it. And you add it, but it's just a simple thing. Jeez, so you know, it's just creamy. a detail. Did your and mom do this to fool your dad yeah, into, yeah, into loving it even yes, more? Yes, of, of course. And then, you know, if you're having a fancy dinner and you want to make it smooth and silky, then you puree the, the whole, whole thing, thing and beautiful. pass it through a sieve. So it's really a soup that you can take from the homey and a weeknight meal mm -hmm. and make it rustic right. and eat it with some crunchy bread. Or you want to go Elevate fancy, it. puree the thing. Are you, you simmering know? it covered or uncovered? Uncovered. uncovered and then you know once you you finish and it's all yeah. cooked and you added the pureed lentils if you want then this is the fun thing when you do the topping okay so now the plantains plantains okay. can be very tricky I always say they're like yeah. the rougher tumbler cousin of the banana <laughs> yes they're like the banana from Brooklyn <laughs> I like to think of the plantain as the vegetable banana because you have to treat it as a vegetable and not as a fruit in right. that you have to cook it. Because it's not yeah, sweet. Yeah. It's starchy. Ooh, you have to cook really? it. it is, so here's the thing. Then. It can be very sweet, but different from the banana. You know, a banana, when it's ripe, it's, it's this color. Oh, and it's beautiful and mm -hmm. sweet and wonderful. And it's yeah. yellow. Yeah. And yeah. it's starting to get like these little black mm -hmm. spots. A plantain, when it's this color, it's green. Yeah. So it's not common sense. <laughs> a plantain is ripe when it's black in its entirety. Yeah. Because oh. it's like a vegetable. Oh, right. Wow. So then, anyway, I mean, if you get it like this, it just won't be as sweet. Okay. And then, different from a banana, you have to treat it like a vegetable because you can't just peel it yeah. fast because no. the skin is so, so thick. Hard. But I find it so fun to cut yeah. because it's thick. 
thick, you know? So you even, you have to make some slits. See, there's so, you, you would never eat a plantain roll. You never. always have to cook it. But never. they're yeah. so deceiving. Because mm -hmm. look at how, it's saying yeah, to me, I was, look at how beautiful yeah. I am. Eat me yeah. now. Oh, I look eat so eat beautiful. Now. I would have put a couple yeah. scoops of ice cream. Right. No. I know. And, and, and then, then yeah. You, yeah, you would really regret plantain it. But split. here's the thing. A plantain okay. split. We're doing a plantain it, split. Yes. <laughs> but let me show you. So two things I want to tell you about plantain. Okay. One, if you have a plantain that's already ripe and you want the one ingredient and simplest recipe of your life. Grab that ripe plantain, wrap it with aluminum foil, put it in the oven for one hour at 400 degrees, wow, take it out, high. and you're set. And one hour, one 400 hour. degrees, one you really have to cook it's like a potato. It's caramel. Yeah, right. Kind of, because it's, it's so starchy. So, yeah. but look at this. So we slice the plantains, and then we have some hot oil here. Okay, what kind of oil and would you then use? Grapeseed? Vegetable, any canola, safflower, grapeseed. Okay. So you grab your slices and then just drop them just in. fry them just fry them just oh, fry them easy. and then look at these while wow, those fry these are already fried they're so good and yeah, there so I want you to take a bite of one before oh, I add oh, one I to the I soup like, Ooh, okay yeah. I know but I know. now I like yeah. plantains and you then and these so you know we eat refried oh, or right? uh, fried plantains so aren't great. they beautiful so you can do that on top of rice on top of beans and we do it on top of the soup, and now you can do good. Oh. Now you can add some ice cream on that. <laughs> but um, kind of but you so think you can, can make a plantain cheesecake. I know. <laughs> I was gonna say she told me lentils. She's Mine making a lentils oh, cheesecake. Oh, <laughs> no. But you know what would be <laughs> bad for you? A caramelized plantain cheesecake. Oh, yeah. oh. oh wait, 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 wait. A dulce de leche caramelized. Oh, now I see wow. magic happening between oh, the two of you. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're going to places we it's shouldn't go. Okay. 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 So, so now we put dig the plantain. It's oh so good. God. It's so Patty. delicious. You Full so recipe wonderful. is available at HallmarkChannel.com. Mm. Patty beautiful. would love it if you connect with her on her social account or visit her at PattyHenich.com. What do you think, Davila? I know. I yeah, you didn't Isn't like it good? That, did you? Is, it, is it a little hot? So, Taylor, Taylor, Taylor. This is a good yeah, no, it's up. No? It's so good. Yeah, it's a little good? shy. Yay! Uh, we'll Thank just you. get the check, please, for Taylor. <laughs> All right, stick around. There's so much more ahead, including uh, beauty solutions from Kim. That's right. After our lentil cheesecake, <laughs> we are going to have all kinds of beauty tips that are going to keep you beautiful from the inside out. Mm -hmm. Woo, this is delicious. Then actor Alex Rowe is taking us behind the scenes of his new romantic movie, Forever My Girl, and he has a very special performance for us. Yes, and then Shirley is sharing with us a beautiful indoor flower that we can transplant outside in the spring. I can't wait. We're getting closer. Symbidium Care. Hang in there, guys. Ooh. Plus, Paige is dressing up our windows and bringing the snow inside in a good way. <laughs> but next, a family's miraculous story that will make even skeptics believe in miracles. <laughs>